Sagittarius, welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your general reading for the month of July 2022. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for my Sagittarians, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. Please keep in mind this is general. Yes, so this is not going to resonate for everyone. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also, Sagittarius, keep in mind that this is a timeless reading. Yes, there is <clears throat> July associated with this, um, but that's really just for organizational purposes, okay? This does not have to resonate for you during the month of July. It could resonate for you at any time in your life. So just take it as it resonates. And if it's if it resonates for you, regardless as to whenever the, you watch the reading, when it, if it resonates, then that's the message for you in that moment. Yes, my Sagittarius. All right, Saggy. I'm going to give this three more shuffles. And then we're going to get into your message for the month or for this moment. Yes. From my Sagittarius, Sagittarians, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Yes? All right. One last shuffle here for you, Saggy. And then we will get into your message at this time. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. What's going on for Sagittarius? What messages do we have for Sagittarius at this time? Okay. We have the King of Cups with the Hermit. All right, right off the bat, okay? And the Two of Pentacles. All right, overall energy is the Ace of Wands. All righty, Sag. So, um, you know, the, the, the energies for the fire signs at this moment for these readings right now um, is very much about taking responsibility for something. So, Saggy, what I've got for you so far, um, I, really, the narrative here is kind of starting at this Two of Pentacles, okay? I feel like you've been going back and forth on something. Um, you've been on the fence about something. You're trying to choose between two realities. I feel like choose between two pathways. Um, this I, I get this feeling, Sagittarius, that with this Two of Pentacles, you're trying to decide how to go about creating something. This might be starting a business of some sort. Um, there, there is something in your reality that you are trying to find balance between i feel like you're you're weighing these options you're comparing these things to each other in order to choose one but i'm trying to see what what is this though i mean obviously we're going to we're going to clarify a little bit later but i'm tr i want to i'm trying to feel through what it is you're comparing or at least what it is it will lead to, or what it is you're looking towards achieving here. This is a, is this a goal? Is this a physical outcome that you are looking to achieve? Is this literally choosing between physical things in your life? I, I, the strongest feeling that I get about this Sagittarius is that whatever it is you're choosing between, it's going to have a pretty serious impact in your physical reality. This could be mindsets, these could be beliefs, understandings about yourself and or the nature of reality. But there's definitely something that you're coming to terms with that you're really being, taking an emotional high road with, King of Cups. And this absolutely involves introspection here. You have the King of Cups with the Hermit. All right. So I get this feeling just like Leo, you're being very real with yourself. You could be this could uh, this could honestly Sagittarius. Again, this is a general reading, so take it as it resonates, you guys. But what I am feeling here is this could be you trying to choose between a new between career paths or jobs. Um, it See. Overall energy is the Ace of Wands. So you're inspired in some way to turn over to a new leaf, to take up a new creative project, to go in a new direction in your life. 
And this two of pentacles energy here may be deciding on practical ways of going about this, of achieving this goal, of reaching this goal. Okay. Uh, I, I'm, I really want to take my time with this uh, Sagittarius, but I want to, just to make sure that I'm, I'm, I'm channeling it correctly. But what I will say is that this is ultimately, this is a good thing. I don't, I don't, I'm not feeling any sort of negativity here. Or any, any, any sort of sorrow or anything like that. This feels very good. This feels like, um, I just heard a new leap of faith. Okay. Let's start. I guess let's start clarifying. That'll help because I'm not really getting much else. You, the energy for you, Sagittarius, oddly enough, is fairly nebulous right now. Like I'm not getting a clear impression or a clear imprint or a clear picture on much of anything. You may not be either. You may be in the very beginning stages of figuring this out, of fleshing this out of juggling, not juggling, but trying to choose between or trying to decipher between these two pathways, these two realities, these two ways of thinking, these two goals. These two of the two of pentacles here can represent goals that you have. One could be from the past, one could be a new one, and you're and with this in, and that could be what this ace of wands is. You have a new goal, you have a new pathway, a new way of thinking, a new aspiration, and you're, you're comparing that to something that you've been holding or working towards or have been long, has been long standing. You're trying, you're weighing the two options, comparing them, seeing which is better. I will say that I'm leaning towards that new goal. I feel like you're kind of leaning towards that one too, but there's a real practical energy here that I'm picking up for you right now that is trying to decide or decipher which is actually going to be better to pursue and being very mature about your decision making process here. I'm going to give this one last shuffle, Sag, and then we're going to clarify. I want to I definitely want to talk more about this two of pentacles energy. So what's this two of pentacles energy for Sagittarius, please, spirit? What's this two of pentacles? What are they deciding between? Okay, there, look, there's the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands has been coming out for all three of the fire signs so far today in, in your readings for this round. Um, and this Knight of Wands does represent you, technically. Sagittarius, clarify this two of pentacles, please. Queen of Cups. Look, you have the King and the Queen of Cups now. This is a good thing. Emotional balance. Clarify the two of pentacles here. Ace of Swords reversed. Okay, yes, you are in fact trying to figure something out. You don't have you don't have the answer yet. You don't have the answer. But you are in fact inspired to move in a new way towards a new creative project. I okay, see this is where this practical mindset is or this practical energy is really coming from that I'm feeling for you here Sagittarius because you are in fact inspired towards something. You're inspired to do something new, to create something new or to go in a new direction. But what I feel like you're doing here is you're really being very practical with yourself about it because this Knight of Wands energy could represent your propensity towards getting super excited to, about something and just like going off with it, blasting off with it without really giving it any sort of real thought or really trying to like plan anything. I feel like what you're doing here, you're being very mature with yourself at this time, Sagittarius, okay? And, and so your King of Cups energy is coming through saying, whoa, pump the brakes. Let's make sure that we do this properly. And so you feel this inspiration, the Knight of Wands energy. You feel gung-ho. You really want to do this. You're super excited about it. You've got all this passion behind it. But you definitely are trying, Queen of Cups, you're trying to understand what it is you're feeling here so that you can recognize whether this is just a pipe dream, whether this is just like a, I, I, what I, 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 the long and the short of it, Sagittarius, is that you're not trying to burn out. 
You don't want to fizzle out. You don't want to go gung-ho with this just for it to burn out and then it just becomes another situation that you're just like, oh, there goes another one back in the dumpster or in the trash can because it, it wasn't, there was nothing really substantial behind it, okay? So that's what you're that's what that's why you're weighing these options right now or you're really giving this a good amount of thought to understand how it is you are feeling about this to really intuitively or psychically look into this situation and say to yourself what does this really represent is this a viable option for me to take on at this time or is this just another one of those fluke situations that's just going to burn out or fizzle, fizzle out in the process? This absolutely may be a relationship as well. For others of you, this is you coming to terms with this kind of flighty or um, um, here one second, gone the next, knight of wands propensity to, within you. And not wanting to really express that much anymore, not wanting that to be the focus anymore. Wanting to think things through, wanting to be practical. Over there you there you go. There is the official card of practicality, or at least one of them. The page of pentacles. Okay, I really feel like you're taking this seriously, Sagittarius. If this is a new project, whatever it is a project, a relationship, whatever. I feel like you are absolutely hunkering down here, Aries. Not Aries, I'm sorry, Sagittarius. Um, you might be dealing with an Aries. You might have Aries energy in your chart, or you might just wanna watch that Aries reading. Um, you also might be an Aries that is uh, dealing with or associated with or potentially getting into a relationship with a Sagittarian and you're cross-watching for that Sagittarian right now to see how what their alignment is. And this may be resonating for you. Take it as it resonates, guys. This is a general reading. This could either resonate for the Sagittarian or the person that we're, or the person in question that we're talking to here, or it could resonate as the cross-watcher. Again, take it as it resonates. It's a big old general reading, right? But I feel like you are really trying to take this seriously. You really want to be as practical with this as possible, all right? You want to get this off the ground in the right way. That's beautiful, Sag, all right? Uh, let's clarify the Hermit. Clarify the Hermit for Sagittarius, please, Spirit. We have the Sun, beautiful. Clarify the Hermit, please, Spirit, for Sagittarius. What is this Hermit energy for Sagittarius? The Three of Wands, okay. One more card, please. Clarify the Hermit. And the Two of Swords, that's interesting. And then the Ten of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. Very interesting. All right, so um, there's definitely a past circumstance, a past reality, a past way of thinking. This could also be, this could be as, as simple as no longer being fly by night or fly by the seat of your pants or um, um, being too flighty or too too quick to jump into a situation without really thinking about it just for you to fizzle out, for it to burn out or for it to get sabotaged or whatnot, whatever, because you didn't take it, you didn't take a practical approach to it. That literally could be the ending here that the Ten of Swords is representing for you. Because remember, I did pick up for some of you here, this is just you having learned the lessons surrounding that and now wanting to change your approach to things. Doing the soul searching you need to do, the hermit, to come to the awareness of what it is that you need to be aware of to put the, the proper um, attention, the proper focus, the proper investment into a situation. The sun to the three of wands here. Okay, recognizing that you actually do need to invest in it. You know, you need to put some time, you need to put some work, you need to put some attention, you need to put some energy into it. You can't just ride up in there roughshod, think things are gonna be all passionate and heavy and, f and you know, free flowing for the whole time. And then when things fizzle out or when things calm down a little bit, now you're no longer interested or the situation is just a big old mess, right? Two of swords, that is what you're focused on. Okay, you're not accepting anything else into your mind, into your psyche, into your understanding of this situation other than 
real long-term application. That's beautiful. I'm definitely getting with the Ten of Swords here and the Two of Swords. There is a determination to not experience situations that the way you did in the past. Which is this Knight of Wands, flighty, here one second, gone the next type of energy. Okay? Excellent, Sagittarius. Finally, I want to clarify the King of Cups. Clarify the King of Cups for Sagittarius, please, Spirit. Death. Scorpio energy. Uh, Scorpio is represented by death, but also you do have Scorpio represented by the King of Cups. You might have Scorpio in your chart. You might be dealing with a Scorpio. Something, something about Scorpio season might be a situation. The moon being in Scorpio might be helpful to you during this time. You might have a moon in Scorpio. Okay, clarify the King of Cups, please, Spirit. Either way, there is a strong transformation here that's happening for you. Nine of Wands. Clarify the King of Cups. One last card, please. One last card. Clarify the King of Cups. Nine of Wands and the Six of Pentacles. Okay. Ah! Still with the Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck. All right. That's excellent, Sagittarius. So you're really transforming out of some really negative, painful, hurtful situations. Um... The biggest transformation that you are going through, okay, and this is big, this is big old general energy, so please just place it into your life as it fits. What you're coming to terms with, what you're growing up with, or growing up into taking more responsibility and more emotional maturity in, in is in terms of persevering towards, in, 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 a, in a similar way or in the same way um, in the past, nine of wands energy it feels like things may have always been a struggle or the way that you went about something there was always a struggle or you ended up always struggling or things were always difficult because there wasn't real practical application to the situation that's what really feels like the dominant energy here sagittarius it's about getting grounded and understanding that, yes, these moments of inspiration come through and it's great, it's exhilarating and it feels good. But if you really want things to be long term or if you really want to see things through to fruition, you have to take some sort of practical application towards it. You have to be practical. You have to bring it down to earth. You have to make a plan somehow. You have to find a way to follow through with it somehow and in the long term. That has always been, that's what I'm getting with this nine of wands. That's what you ran up against in the past. Everything became difficult because there wasn't really a practical way of doing it. That would bring you the reciprocity or would bring you the return on your payout here. That is the transformation you are going through. That is the old cycle or the painful cycle you are putting to a close here. That's how you're growing up. That's how you're being more emotionally mature here. Excellent, Sag. I want to get a closing message for you. Closing message for Sagittarius in terms of this situation, please. Spirit, closing message, potential outcome. The world. Look at this, Saggy. This is beautiful. Closing message for Sagittarius, please. Closing message for Sagittarius. Okay. Overall energy is the four of swords. A another common message or common theme for the fire signs this round. Okay. This is beautiful. Um, four of swords is definitely an energy of you keeping your mind, your mind calm. Okay. You have that overall energy as your overall energy, excuse me. And then to close your closing message here is the world, strength, the lovers and temperance. All major arcana, and you are showing up right here in Temperance, Sagittarius. So, what is happening here, Sag? There is a closing of a cycle, the world, that involves taming your ego, okay, strength, and making a choice for your highest good, the lovers, to bring more balance into your life, into your situations, into your circumstances, into your endeavors, into whatever it is you are feeling inspired to do and it may just be 
this inspiration that was at the ace as the ace of wands at the bottom of the deck before it might this inspiration may just be for you to clean up your act in some way and bring more pl practical application to your life or to your to your endeavors okay but that is definitely a cycle that is ending the world in which you are taming your ego getting strength getting getting more fortified in your ego strength making a choice for your highest good the lovers to bring greater harmony and balance and reciprocity into your life into your endeavors into your circumstances into your your goals your dreams your aspirations temperance okay this is a big lesson that has been learned here sagittarius i love this for you i really really love this for you closing message closing oracle guidance is going to come from the crystal mandala oracle yeah excellent here we go. Closing message for my Sagittarians, please. Spirit, closing message for my Sagittarius. My Saggies. Sagittarius. <laughs> Last shuffle here. Saggy. Closing Oracle Guidance for you. Closing Oracle Guidance for Sagittarius, please. Spirit. Closing Oracle Guidance for Sagittarius. Card number 38, which does boil down to an 11. Goddess Lakshmi and Dendric, Dendritic Agate, excuse me. Her Golden Grace. Beautiful. Thirty-eight. Okay. Here we go. Her Golden Grace. We bring you the empowerment of Her Golden Grace. Divine Mother Lakshmi, who brings blessings of enlightenment and prosperity, beauty and good fortune, smiles upon you now. Open your mind to the reality of divine generosity without, without limit. Open your heart to feel worthy of her love. When you allow her to grant you bounty, to bless you with her golden grace, she is empowered to shine her divine beauty in the world, to heal, uplift, inspire, and enchant the souls in need. Excellent. So there you have it, Sagittarius. Thank you so very much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. If you'd like to get a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined and haven't done so already. But with that said, Saggy, I hope you have a fantastic month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Bye.